Tyson, it's Mackenzie here from Greenville, North Carolina. Just wanted to pop in and say a few things. And I'm a print journalist, so being on camera is a bit strange for me, so bear with me. Um, we're gonna push through it. But I've been thinking a lot about my journalism career in the past couple weeks, and I've been trying to pinpoint, or I can't pinpoint the exact reason that I chose to take journalism in 10th grade at Delaney, but I can sure as hell remember why I stuck with it. And that has everything to do with you and the passion that you showed us and the light that you shined in my life and so many other people's lives. I mean, you've got a light that shines worldwide and I think you'll find that's evident when you watch these videos um, because there's people chiming in from all over the country talking about how much that you've met to us and you know, we might all live in different areas of the country right now, but we all have one thing in common and that's you and just this, this shining light and spirit that you gave to us. So. We thank you for that, um, but I also want to thank you because, again, when I think about my journalism career, no matter how far I go, no matter no matter what, you will always be that first person that taught me journalism, that taught me what a, what a headline is, what a cut line is, what a lead is, how to write a lead, all things like that, that proved to be extremely important in my journalism life and that if I, I don't think if I had you as, as the teacher that first taught me that I don't know if I would be sitting where I am today which is in Greenville North Carolina about to go to work as a magazine editor um, so I want to thank you for all of that and I want to thank you for above that teaching me just these skills that are needed to not only be a journalist but to be a good person um, you taught me how to talk to people which I don't know if I was that great at as a little 15 year old girl as shy and awkward and all these great things that you are in high school but um, teaching you just taught me how to be a good person how to be nice to people how to how to be, be compassionate and and just all of these things that it's hard to put into words and I write for a living so I think that's kind of funny but just want to thank you and tell you that I'm thinking about you all the way down here in North Carolina um, your impact is felt everywhere so thank you love you thinking about you Hey Maria, I just wanted to let you know that you are incredible, amazing, strong, a badass, uh, someone who I am incredibly blessed to call um, a mentor and, and a friend. I was thinking recently um, of, all the, of all the crazy times we had uh, from 2011 to 2014, um, starting with Crime and Punishment in uh, sophomore English, where you inspired me to read every single page of that book. No spark notes. No skimming. I read every page. Do you know how incredible it is that you got a 15 year old who is not incredibly talented in the English language, ooh, that was almost not a sentence, uh, to read every page of Dostoyevsky? That's incredible. Like, that's amazing. Who else would do that? Um, and I was just, <laughs> I realized that I still um, do a lot of the things you taught me from uh, being in the Griffin, like putting a box on things, on posters, all the time. All the time. I hope you remember that. And, um, I always have chocolate covered espresso beans uh, first in college now at my desk at work. Um, sometimes I even sing, sing the fuck song to the tune of Jingle Bells, you know. If you need to, you know when you got to. Um, so among other things, like I just, it's amazing you really had an impact on me and, and really everyone else in your class and uh, I'm going to be forever grateful for the support you gave me uh, for the past, over the past couple years. and. Um, I just, I can't wait to see you again. Um, I have relocated up to Boston, so if you're ever in the area, please stop by. I'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, I will definitely be in contact the next time I'm in Baltimore. Love you. Hey, Miss Ison, it's one of your favorite former sports editors from Freeport, Maine. During my summer internship at L.O. Bean, I just want to let you know that I am extremely thankful for everything that you've done for me in the past three years and that I would not be where I am today at Middlebury or here without your love and support for the Griffin and me. Um, the way you pushed me and the way that you made every day an adventure for me was unmatched at Delaney and I will forever be grateful for the way that you taught me how to write and how to live life to the fullest and love people. So thank you for everything. I wish I was there in Baltimore, but love and support you just the same. Hey, Mrs. Eisen, it's me, the Zurich. As you no doubt remember from high school, I'm an incredibly charismatic, talkative person. So this is gonna be a really dynamic video. Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> 
but seriously, I wanted to thank you so much for being such a great English teacher and journalism advisor. You were always really kind and supportive about my writing, and that injected a lot of, like, joy and confidence into my life in the T.S. Eliot-esque hellscape that is a suburban high school, so thank you. Um, and I feel like you weren't just that kind of supportive influence in my life, but in all of our lives. I remember watching you with interview subjects for like, Athlete of the Month, Artist of the Month, Word with a Nerd. And these were kids I'm assuming you were meeting for like the first or second time, and you always instantly knew like the exact right thing to say to them. Like if they were an athlete, you'd be like, I don't know anything about sports, but you'd be like, Hey Higgins, great job on the double reverse, horcrux, touchdown, field goal, home run, last Saturday, or whatever. I don't know what I'm saying, but you would know the exact thing to say, and their faces would light up because you cared enough about them to care about the thing they cared most about and none of that like perfunctory like adult like oh you like sports good for you kid but like in this really detailed loving specific way um like show don't tell was literally like your like mantra as an educator and a human being not just as a writer which like i really appreciated i remember our first day of journalism or our first day my first day of journalism 10th grade 2011 and you saying that you thought of journalism as more of like, a business than a class that if we needed our phones out to like take photos or like record interviews for a story that was fine and that blew my little mind which I know sounds really silly now but like in high school it's so like regimented and structured hall passes and aside lunches and no phones absolutely ever and the fact that you were willing to circumvent all of that because you trusted us and respected us at all like said a lot I remember like how you'd start every journalism class with the word document and would have each of our names at a task for the day like so and so like get like you know, art for the story, like so-and-so, think of captions for this, like, picture, or whatever, like that. And, like, the fact that, like, everybody's included, no one was ever left out, um, and, like, you just made us all feel like we were equally important and contributing to, like, the final bloodstained masterpiece that is the Lady Griffin. Like, I don't know, I just feel like you believing in us made us believe in ourselves more and made us believe in each other more, and I don't know, like, to quote Kid President, the greatest scholar of our age, be somebody that makes everybody feel like a somebody and I feel like you were that somebody and you are that somebody and I feel so privileged to have known you and to know you so thank you. Hey Miss Hyson, uh, it's Henry. I miss you. Um, I've been thinking about you a lot recently and uh, as I've had the time to think um, I've really just been able to reflect and understand how much um, you have meant to me in my life and how what you've taught me has really shaped who I am today and uh, I'm so grateful for what you've done and I know I could never repay all the amazing things that you've done for me, Miss Heiss, and I know there are a lot of other people who are in the same shoes as me uh, in terms of that. And um, I really uh, just wanted to reach out let you know that I love you, um, we miss you, uh, I care about you so much and I just really hope that um, you're doing okay. I know you're going to get through this because you're strong. Um, keep fighting. Hey, Maria. Hi from Charleston. I just wanted to let you know how much I'm thinking about you. And more than anything, I just want to thank you for everything you've done for me. It's hard to put in a, into words how much of an impact that you've had on my life. I still remember my sophomore year when you came up to me um, in the hallway and you sat down next to me next to the locker and you were like hey Becca you gonna take journalism I, th I think you'd be really good at it like you're a good writer you like talking to people why don't you try it out and to be honest I was thinking about taking it already because I wanted to spend more time with you because I knew how amazing of a teacher you were and how much of an impact you already were having on my life and I just want you to know that it's something that is rare and is very special to have someone like you care so much about the people in their life and make the students around them a second family. And I'll never forget, you know, staying at the school until two in the morning sometimes. And every time I eat pad thai, I think of you and Franny and Kira and all those nights. And I still buy Trader Joe's. Um, the coffee beans and think of you guys, the chocolate covered espresso beans. Um, but I really, I keep saying it, but I can't thank you enough for how genuine you are, how loving you are, and how much of a second mom you were for me so much in high school. I mean, it can be a scary time figuring out your future and college and all the pressure that comes with that but having walking into a classroom and having you sitting there and smiling and being encouraging and telling 
me just to find myself and embrace that it pushes me to be a better person every day and I think of you every second when I'm doing my job because you are the reason I am a journalist and you really inspired me to be in this profession and to pursue my passion and so I love you so much and I hopefully will see you soon. Hi Miss Hyacin. What I wanted to talk about in this video is how much I have always admired you since the first day I've walked into your classroom and especially how I've gotten to know you so much better last year. Um, it was weird this year not having you as my teacher given that I've had you for three years in high school but um, but you have stuck with me and the things that I've learned from you and my memories that I have with you are just amazing and they will forever you know continue on with me. Um, you are my favorite teacher ever. Like when I say that, it's not even like, I'm not lying at all. <laughs> like every teacher I ha I've had, you've been just absolutely incredible. Um, I mean, you've taught me so much, of course, about writing, which I love to do and continue to really love to write in my essays and things like that. But you taught me about journalism, but you've also taught me stuff about, um, you know, being strong and having a voice and you know that I've <laughs> I've always been like a quiet mouse in the classroom and you know last year I still laugh because I think about it how I'd sit there and giggle at my desk during like after hours with the griffin and like I'm giggling after something you said and then you would look at me and go Doria are you laughing what are you laughing at like I can't even hear you laughing and then I would just make me laugh more um you knew that I was quiet and didn't really say much but I mean the way that you spoke the your grace your just just the way that you would speak and speak out and say your opinions, that's something that I have never really done. Um, but since really getting to know you and everything, I mean, that has inspired me and I'm still, you know, trying to like, you know, make sure that I use my voice because I know I have it. Um, but you are such a strong woman with a, an amazing voice and the way that you speak is just inspirational and amazing. So, you know, that's something that I will always take with me. Um, you, I am forever grateful for you. Um, you know, you'll forever be in my heart as my school, my school mom and a wonderful, beautiful and inspirational woman. I love you so much, Miss Hyacin, and thank you for everything. Hope to see you soon. Hi, Mrs. Hyacin. Greetings from San Jose, California, from my very tiny apartment. Um, I wanted to take this time to remind you of what a wonderful and central figure you've been in my development and I think all of my peers would agree in the development of all of us. We have all been inspired and touched by the life lessons that you've taught us in English classes and journalism classes. My time at the Griffin is definitely the hardest I worked in my entire life, including my now work life. It's not scary to think about a work life. God, um, I cannot think of a more influential figure in my high school days. Um, just all the times that I had, I'm so nostalgic for the um, the times we worked late at night or early in the morning or through classes or or through lunch or a double journalism period. All the times that we spent. You know, huddled under the desk so Miss Stanley couldn't kick us out after hours or, or you know, at 9 o'clock at night with a Maria's Pizza with extra feta, which is something that I still order, so you know how much of an influence you've had on me. Um, or all the times that, you know, I talked to someone that I wouldn't have talked to before because I had an assignment and I ended up being great friends with them. Or, or the times that I never would have considered something. Um, but you taught us to engage with opinions maybe we didn't necessarily agree with or with viewpoints that we hadn't considered before. I think above all you've taught us to be empathetic beings and, and you've taught us to be engaged and you've taught us to um, just be better. And, and I think journalism is about um, being aware but also being better and being human. Um, and. I think your influence on us is just evidenced by how many of us have stayed in the field, uh, however tangentially, how much of, how many of us are still writing and editing and reading and taking photos and laying out designs and, and 
asking people about the things that are going on in their life because that's the core of journalism is, is what are you up to how how can you explain the world to me and um, you know I I think of the Delaney Griffin not just as a club or as an activity that I participated in but as a family that I could always count on and and be supported by and 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 support with and, and look out for um, it's definitely one of the most transformative experiences of my life and I am so endlessly grateful for the opportunities that you gave me and the convincing that you gave me to get involved I I I don't know what my life would be like without that experience. I'm sure it would be very different because it it changed the world for me. And um, I hope that you are surrounded by all the love and support in the world. Um, you deserve all of it and more. Um, I love you and I hope that I get to see you soon. But, bye. Hey Miss Hyacin, so glad I got to catch up with you on Monday, but I feel like we didn't get nearly enough time, so here comes this video. Um, I was just thinking back on kind of a lot of Griffin stuff lately, and um, I was remembering when back in, I guess it was sophomore year, um, I was like found out that I was going to be a copy editor for the Griffin, and it sounds like so, I don't know, lame now, I guess, but back then it was like the most exciting thing. I remember like telling my parents in a Chili's, and I was like so excited. And, and I think that's so reflective of like what the Griffin was to me and to so many other people too. And, and that's because of you. I mean, you built that into something that we could be proud of, but not only us, the, literally the whole community could be proud of. And sometimes I think we got caught up in it and we were like, oh, you know, this is Miss Hyacinth's paper. We're just working on it for her. But really you wrapped that up and handed it to us and said, I've given you this gift and, and now you can really make it into something even better and I think too that you noticed things in people and talents in people that they may not have noticed themselves um, and basically allowed them a vehicle and a venue for those talents and the Griffin was was like that for me but it was also so many other things because it's the place I met so many of my dearest friends including you and I hope you're doing okay I hope you're getting some sleep um, but hopefully we'll see you soon. Hi, Ms. Hyacin. Um, I was just thinking about how much this beautiful sunshine, hopefully you can see, um, that we're receiving honestly really reminds me of you um, and just how full of light and life and love you are um, and how much I really, 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 really appreciate that. Um, you are truthfully one of the most radiant people um, that I know, and your positivity is just truly infectious. Um, and the way that you just make the best and pull the best out of everyone and everything around you um, with your love and your drive, um, and just how much you care. Um, and I know that if it wasn't for those things, I wouldn't be even close to where I am today. Um, the way that you believed in me and supported me and encouraged me and trusted in me throughout high school, I really cannot thank you enough um, for that. And I know I'm not the only one. Um, so yeah, I just really wanted to let you know that I'm thinking about you. Um, and I love you, and I'm just so, so, so thankful for you and who you are and what you stand for. Um, yeah, bye. Hi, Ms. Heisen. Just wanted to pop in and say, um, I just want to share some thing that I was thinking about recently. Um, when I was looking back at the five classes I had with you, um, over the course of three years, which is a lot of classes, right? Um, so you would think I'd remember something else other than this, and this is my most vivid memory um, in one of your classes. I think it was journalism one year, um, but it's definitely me like scavenging 
for some ibuprofen or Advil for a headache and all I needed was two. Um, and I was like, Ms. Heisman, any chance you have anything? And you literally gave me an entire um, bottle of pills. And you were like, yeah, just take six at once. It's what I do. I think it helps get rid of your headache faster. I was like, no. Oh. Um, and I also really remember you making fun of my driving, um, which is like valid. Um, I was actually in the car with Jessica Bishai the other day and we were playing Sprawl, um, the Arcade Fire song, and I, we were just like, wow, I can't believe we were forced to analyze this song in uh, an English class because that's exactly the kind of teacher we had. Um, so yeah, just dropping by to share my love and all of the impacts you've made on us, um, both in and outside of the classroom and even now. Yeah, just wanted to remind you of our love. We love you lots and we love you always. Hi, Ms. Heisen. This is Julie. I hope you're doing well. Um, I first wanted to say what a lot of students have already been saying, and that's thank you for being such an impactful figure in my life, like truly. Um, I still remember back in ninth grade, I was applying to this summer internship and I had to send one of the coordinators an email. But before I sent that email, I asked my mom to proofread it for me and just look it over. But then she ended up tearing the whole thing apart and just editing it top down because my writing was just god awful. It was just terrible back then. <laughs> and, you know, on a whim, I decided to take your journalism class in 10th grade. And that was when I first had the privilege of being taught by you. And that's really when I first started to see my writing change for the better. Um, you know, you have this spirit, like this character that makes your students want to improve. And in 11th grade, when I had you for English, I really started to see that more. That, you know, you pushed your students because you truly cared for them and you saw through averageness and, you know, you knew we could do better. And because you believed in us, because you believed in me, I also believed in myself. And I've had amazing opportunities because of you, um, especially, you know, to work with the rest of the editors on the Griffin team. Um, I got into my dream college in part because of you. And I'm here at this amazing internship in Seattle. Also, I, I credit that to you, um, you know, and I'm sure many students or every student that you've taught can attribute their success right back to you. Um, and, you know, because of you, I strive for that excellence every day. And I can't thank you enough for just not only teaching me about school and education, but just guiding me through life. Um, yeah, if it wasn't for you, I don't think I'd be here. Um, and I think the silver lining through, through all of this is just to see how many people truly love and care and appreciate you. And I think that's a beautiful thing. And I just, I know you're a strong, resilient woman and you will get through this. And we are all here to support you because we truly love and care about you. So, you know, I wish the best for you and your family and I hope you guys take care. Bye-bye. Hey, Mrs. Hyacin, I'm sure you're getting this a lot in a lot of these videos, but it rings true for me too. I wouldn't be doing what I am today, which is pursuing a career in media if it wasn't for you. I can't thank you enough for everything you did for me in both English and journalism classes. You taught me how to be such an analytical reader and a much better writer and appreciate the small things like spelling and grammar and AP style, which turn out to be the big things and really can make your writing shine. Um, I'll never forget my first story for big story for the Griffin with athletes serving athletes and having you there to mentor me along the way. So again, I can't thank you enough. You were and still are a, such an inspiration, a great mentor, a friend, and most importantly, just a wonderful human being. So uh, Delaney would have not been the same without you. And again, thank you so much. Next month, I'm moving to New York City, and I remember you would always say that you wanted to retire there, which I always thought was fabulous and funny. Um, so if you find yourself in the city soon, uh, please let me know, and we'll have to catch up. All right, bye. Hey, Maria. I just remember that when we were editing and stuff, and it was just like really late at night, and things were stressing us out, um, you would be the one to kind of like maintain calm, or if we like needed a little bit of lightness, like you would offer that to us. Um, it meant a lot to have 
you as my teacher for English and as well like in journalism as well because then I kind of like my voice was recognized um, and you were able to help me develop as a writer. I've lost all of that now in college. I, I mean, I'm fine, but just like it's not as, it's just trash. I don't have time to edit anything. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, and then also just like getting into college, like you, like writing my recommendation letter again for that. I love you. I miss you. I'm here for you. Hey, Hyacin, uh, Amanda here. Um, I just wanted to make this video to say thank you. Uh, thanks to you, I was able to develop communication skills that I ne never would have gotten. Uh, the, being on the newspaper, especially being an editor and having to take charge, forced me to interact with my peers, interact with people I'd never thought I would, whether it be through interviews, polls, uh, taking over advertising ha and having to talk to all of these uh, managers and business owners and people out in the real world. Um, so thank you for that, and along those lines, I just, in your classroom, I never felt like a little, or in your lab, I never felt like a dinky little high schooler. I felt like a human. I felt like I was respected and that you were looking out for what was best for us, but also what was what was gonna better us as writers as people just thank you thank you for the three years that I was able to call you my teacher uh, thank you for all of the late late nights all of us editors shared with you and your true dedication to us you know, you could just treat it like it was a school paper, but you treat it like it was the real thing, you know, real deal. And uh, I can, and like we were in a real newsroom, so I can never thank you enough, just like I said, for making me feel like I deserve to be treated like a human and respected. Um, thank you. Hi, Mrs. Hyacin. Um I'm in California right now thinking about you and your family. I just wanted to say that you were a big influence in my life in high school. You changed the way, you changed my outlook on journalism and the world. I hope you're doing okay and I want you to know that you're in my thoughts. Hi, Ms. Hyacin. Um, I just wanted to take a moment to tell you um, how much I appreciated you as a teacher and thank you for being a big source of positivity for both Franny and I during our senior year of high school, which was really a hard year for us both. Um, it was a time I know I felt pretty hopeless and what kept me going was moments in my life where I could look forward to moments of my life that I felt gave me a purpose um, beyond just the, the trivial things. And one of those moments was going to your class. Um, I can't thank you enough for just being there every day happy to see me and everyone and creating a classroom environment that was really welcoming and just like a second home at school. Um, I definitely wouldn't be here, <laughs> a Johns Hopkins graduate, if it weren't for people like you in my life that really were just such a positive influence. Um, I've had a lot of really good teachers, but very few great ones and you were really one of the greats. So thank you so much. Hi, Miss Hyacin, it's Jason. Um, I just wanna make this quick little video, tell you that I love and cherish you, always have, always will. Um, and I just wanted to thank you uh, once again. I can never really thank you enough for all that you've done for me. Uh, you're probably like the main reason that I and many other people you've taught have become journalism majors. Um, and I remember like this past semester, I took my first news writing class 
and we were talking about like something basic like attribution or something and I remember saying like oh like the speaker needs to go before said because that's more important than the word said and my teacher was like oh you must have had a good journalism teacher in high school and I was like reflecting and being like all emo and stuff I was like oh I really did so I just wanted to thank you Miss Hyacin. Hi Miss Hyacin, I'm here in my Orioles Hawaiian shirt and fun fact I just brushed my teeth so hopefully you don't have to smell my breath through this. Anyway I just wanted to let you know that I'm thinking about you, and I love you. And dog! What's up? I miss you. I love you. I've been thinking about you a lot. You have been on the forefront of my heart these past weeks. And I just wanted to say that like Ben, I have also recently brushed my teeth. But I would almost hope that you could smell my breath through this video instead of not. I don't know why our future dentist friend didn't want you to smell his breath. Um, anyway, the second thing I want to tell you is that I still introduce myself how I did back in the 12th grade, which is, hello, I'm Kaylee Paranzino. I'm especially fond of third period on B-Days because I get to sit between Ben and Alex, which is like smelling rose petals for 120 minutes straight. Everything that goes wrong with the Griffin is my fault, except when it is Harrison's. Love you, M Dog, and I heard that you and Will might be getting coffee soon, and I would 100% love to crash that coffee date or have a coffee date of our own. Love ya. Hi, Maria. I just wanted to send my love and share a couple thoughts on um, how much you really impacted my life. I can say that as a student, I have never liked English. And I love being in your class so much so that after sophomore year, I joined um, the Griffin staff for junior and senior year, and it was the best decision ever. Um, it was so wonderful being a part of something and working so closely with you. I think it was the first time that I was ever really friends with a teacher and someone who wants to go into that general profession. It both helped me in college to do well in my classes because I felt comfortable approaching and talking with teachers, but also um, to really set up some mentors um, for the future. Um, also, I don't know if you even know this, but every single book you've ever recommended to me, I've absolutely loved. And I've tried this. I used to ask English teachers all the time for like summer reading recommendations or whatever. Um, it doesn't work. I don't really like the books that other people recommend, but for some reason, um, you understood me enough to know what I was going to like in a book, or maybe you just recommend those books to everyone, but you have impeccable taste. So, um, sending my love, and um, I hope to see you soon. Thanks. Bye. Hey, Mrs. Hyacin. I wanted to let you know that I think about working at the Griffin, like, all the time, and I just have the absolute best memories from all of our long nights with Steph and Christine and Jason and you know and I think I knew that what what I was a part of back then was special like while it was happening but once I moved to college and talked to other people I realized that like nobody else had that sort of experience in high school and nobody else had somebody like you in their life and that's made me like all the happier that I have those memories and all the more grateful that, you know, I was a part of that and that, you know, you were such a mentor to all of us and that little family we had. So I want to let you know that I, I love you so much and I'm thinking about you all the time. And yeah, I mean, I just, I'm, it's beyond words how grateful I am that you are a part of my life, and I love you. Hi, Miss Eisen, your favorite students here. We just wanted to say that we're thinking of you and that we miss and love you so very much, and that I hope that I get to see you sometime soon. We love you, Miss Hyacin, sending our best wishes. Mwah. Hi, Miss Eisen. Just wanted to say thank you for all that you've done for me and a lot of people. I certainly wasn't one of the best students in your class in my time there with like all of four pictures published and not a single written work, but 
if it wasn't for your encouragement and your drive and your you know emphasis on who what where when and how to get you know a good story in just a little you know it's encouraged me a lot and without those words of encouragement and those kind of rules that you always set aside for us I would never have been able to get into some competitions that I've made it into and won and never been able to successfully work as an assistant to a photojournalist right now so I certainly didn't take uh, the best start to trying to get into a field similar to this but if it hadn't been for your help I certainly would never have made it this far and I'm always appreciative of everything that you did for me in high school and I know a lot of people are and I really hope that the next generation of Delaney High School students are lucky enough to have you as somebody who can help guide them and mentor them and become someone who they want to go back and visit because that's always one of the people that you've been. And thanks again for influencing not just one generation of Delaney students, but a second generation. So. Thank you for being such an inspiration. We love you.